Hi, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Building History. My name is Ben, and I am, of course, the fabulous Rebecca, otherwise known as Mrs. Building History. And on this episode, we'll be talking about the Key 84 Hayate. And I'm just going to say this in advance from the bottom of my heart. I am so sorry, but none of this is going to be pronounced correctly. But you know what? I'm going to do my best. So here we go. The Nakajima Key 84 Hayate. Now, the Hayate means gale or hurricane, depending on the translation. The Nakajima Corporation actually still exists to this day. However, not by that name. It's now known as Subaru. Interesting factual tidbit. First designs of the Key 84 started back in 1942. Originally, to replace the Nakajima's own Key 43, Designed and built in only 10 months, it made its first flight in April of 1943. The Hayate was probably the best mass-produced Japanese fighter of the war, at least on paper. By the end of the war, a total of 3,514 were built, peaking at 373 manufactured a month. However, insufficient skilled factory workers, Ooh, that's never good. a shortage of raw materials, also not good. and poor metallurgical standards, you made that word plus up. a lack of skilled pilots towards the end of the war hampered the effectiveness of what could have been Japan's best fighter aircraft. Key-84s were used in Manchuria, China, the Philippines, and eventually played a prominent role during the battle for Okinawa. Units operating over Okinawa suffered immense losses. Over six weeks, three Sentais, or air groups, lost nearly 80 pilots. 120 aircraft were reduced to no more than around 15 to 18. The 47th Sentai was caught on the 28th of July, 1945, by a large group of P-51 Mustangs during takeoff. Eight Key-84s were destroyed and six pilots killed, including the Chutai or squadron commanders, Captains Omori, Matsuzaki, and Hatano. Now having lost almost all experienced pilots, the 47th comprised mainly of young, inexperienced pilots who attempted to intercept on a group of B-24 bombers, but first had to pit themselves against the bomber's P-51 escorts which saw the Hayates losing four more planes with no additional victories. The 47th Sentai flew its last mission on August 14, 1945. The Key-84s got the jump on a group of Mustangs. They reported five kills while losing only one pilot themselves. Exactly 24 hours later, the Emperor of Japan announced the cessation of hostilities and the end of the war.
White 46, of which the markings that this model wears, is the only Hayate that still exists today. It most likely left the Nakajima plant in the summer of 1944. It was then transferred to Tokorozawa, northwest of Tokyo, where it was taken over by the second Chutai of the 11th Sentai. The 11th Sentai had returned to Japan in March of 44 after operating in Manchuria, Wuhan, and Canton. By this time, their ranks had swelled with experienced pilots, many of whom fought over New Guinea and the Solomons. During this time in Japan, the 11th was transitioning from the Ki-43 Hayabusa to the brand new state-of-the-art Hayate. However, the experienced pilots were transferred to other units or sent to become instructors, leaving the 11th Sentai to be supplemented with hastily trained rookies. These ill-trained pilots, combined with the early technical shortcomings of the Ki-84, led to a rocky start for the newly re-equipped unit. Initially, it was decided that they would be sent to the island of Formosa, which is now modern-day Taiwan, and eventually on to the Philippines, where the Japanese were anticipating an Allied invasion. The insufficient training of its new pilots meant their deployment to Formosa had to be delayed by a month. Once they finally left Japan, several planes had to turn around due to technical problems, and two went missing on the journey. Only about 30 planes reached the base on Formosa. At the same time, American Task Force 38, under the command of Vice Admiral Mark Mitscher, who had been tasked with neutralizing the Japanese aircraft in the area before their planned invasion of the Philippines, hit Formosa hard on October 12, 1944. The 11th Sentai was held in reserve for almost the entire battle, only launching after the American planes as they were making their way back to the aircraft carriers. Around 25 Hayates engaged against slightly more F-6F Hellcats from the USS Saratoga. The Americans lost three fighters and their pilots, but the 11th lost six planes, two more limped back to base, so shot up they would never fly again. Of the six lost, all six pilots were killed, three young rookies, two Chutai commanders, and the Sentai commander, Major Kanaya. Lieutenant Hironojo Shishimoto an ace, with seven confirmed and seven probable kills, although another source claims 11 kills. Either way, an ace nonetheless. He had severely damaged one Hellcat in the dogfight, but only moments later was forced to bail out of his airplane. While hanging in his parachute on the way down, he came under attack again by American aircraft. Major Kanaya, the Sentai commander, came to the rescue chasing his attackers away, only to be killed himself by Hellcats providing top cover over the fray. Shishimoto, hit by several bullets and severely wounded, was rescued and endured a lengthy rehabilitation which actually allowed him to survive the war. The 11th, in their first day of combat over Formosa, had lost eight planes and eight pilots, five of whom were extremely experienced. On October 20th, 1944, the U.S. Army began its invasion of the Philippines at Leyte. The 11th was ordered to Luzon on October 22nd. Only seven aircraft arrived that first day. They began to trickle in during the days that followed. From 40 planes that left Japan two weeks earlier, only 16 remained in Luzon for the defense of the Philippines. The 11th did not engage in the fighting over the Lete Gulf, instead being tasked with the defense of the airbase surrounding Manila, which led to numerous encounters with P-38s and P-47s resulting in another three lost planes and two more pilots, while claiming between four to six victories depending on sources. By the end of the month, the unit had no more than two or three combat-capable fighters. The 11th and the 1st Sentais were recalled back to Japan to re-equip returning to Clark Field near Manila in early December, 
However, of the 40 airplanes that left Japan, only half reached Clark Field. White 46 was most likely one of those aircraft. Clark Field, an old U.S. Army base from the days before the Japanese invasion in early 1942, was under constant attack from the Americans. The 11th was moved to Porak Airfield nearby. The 11th was sent against the port and airfield of San Jose on Mirandoro Island. On the first day, the first Chutai commander was killed, and on the second day, the third Chutai commander failed to return to base and was assumed killed. By the end of the month, what was left of the 11th began flying cover missions with kamikaze planes while also taking part in night bomber attacks against the bridges on Luzon. By the 6th of January 1945, the number of planes had dwindled to six, with only three or four of those being combat capable. By the 9th, that number was zero. White 46 had been damaged and was abandoned on Clark Field. Dates differ, but White 46 was found and sent for flight tests. Of all the Hayates in the Philippines, only two were ever found to be flightworthy. The Technical Air Intelligence Unit, or TAIU, took possession of the two Hayates in order to determine their capabilities. Of these two, one was found to have numerous technical flaws and it was scrapped. White 46, now painted in American markings, made several preliminary flights determining the approximate performance of the Ki-84 to distribute tactics to frontline units. Further testing was needed, so the plane was loaded onto a carrier and shipped to the U.S., specifically to Wright Field in Ohio. She was disassembled and completely rebuilt for testing, although by this time, the war had ended. Between May and June of 1946, multiple flights were made to determine the ultimate performance characteristics of the Ki-84 Hayate. The Army decided to donate White 46 to President Truman's established Smithsonian National Air Museum, which today goes by the name of the National Air and Space Museum. Unfortunately, with a lack of space and low on funds, the museum sold some of its collection. And in 1952, White 46 became the property of Ed Maloney and a centerpiece to his Ontario Air Museum in Chino, California, today known as Plains of Fame. In 1963, White 46, now repainted, became airworthy again and began flying the air show circuit. Ed began to face financial issues, though, in the 1970s, and the aircraft was sold again. Her new owner began to feel that the airplane should be returned to Japan, and in 1973, he offered it for sale to the Japan Self-Defense Force, which was gladly accepted. On October 7, 1973, White 46 once again flew over Japanese soil at the air show in Aruma. Incidentally, this was the first time an Imperial Japanese Army Air Force plane had flown over Japan since the end of the war. The plane was later given to Fuji Industries and unfortunately left to rot. Ten years later, she became part of the collection of the Arashi Yama Museum in Kyoto. However, once again, the plane along with the museum fell into disrepair only five years later. In the mid-90s, White 46 was taken over by the Kamikaze Peace Memorial in Chiron, where she rests to this day, the last surviving Ki-84 Hayate in the world. The Nakajima Ki-84 Hayate was perhaps Japan's best fighter that never really got the chance to perform to its fullest potential. Japan, especially late in the war, didn't give passes to qualified factory workers to avoid conscription into the army, which led to below average quality manufacturing, compounding on that a lack of high quality fuel and raw materials led to many technical failures, particularly of the landing gear. And perhaps most important of all, especially late in the war was a serious lack of qualified pilots and lack of combat experience amongst the squadrons. On paper, the Ki-84 could compete with almost all of the allied fighters of the time. However, its true ability was hampered by a plague of poor workmanship poor quality materials, and insufficiently trained pilots. In the end, the Hayate was too little, too late for Japan to turn the course of the war in their favor. All right, that brings us to the end of yet another episode of Building History. We really do appreciate each and every one of you for watching. Please give the video a quick like, subscribe to the channel, 
and leave a comment down below. Or email the show at buildinghistorymodels at gmail.com. Feel free to follow us on Facebook and find us on Instagram where you can follow Mr. Building Histories Build in Real Time. The next model is in production at this time. We thank you so much for your continued support and appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for listening. Until next time. Ja, 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 ja,